Good morning, Pat Russell, Operations Section Chief with Incident Management Team 2 giving the morning update. And I wanna make sure we're talking about four specific operations that are going on on the fire uh, concurrently. We're still in full suppression and we're still addressing the fire uh, for, for the suppression efforts, but we have the fire suppression going on. We have our hazard tree abatement operation going on. We have the, the suppression repair and we're taking care of and cleaning up some, some contingency line out there. All of those uh, operations are working concurrently for the overall uh, um, condition of the fire. So if we talk about suppression repair first, if we move over here to the east side of the map, and I can show you what we have going on down up here. If we start up here in Division Juliet around this last chance area, we're working, uh, trying to get uh, direct line in on this uh, middle fork of the North Fork River down to that drainage, as well as in here. That's where that country where you've heard me reference in the past is very steep, and there's areas in there that we cannot put crews. However, we are working as much of that as we can. Down here in Division Mike, around this uh, blacksmith fit area in here, we are working in there as well. As you can see, we have more black on the map going up in that area, and we're continuing to work this line to secure that. Uh, as well as down here in Division Romeo, along the Levin Pines Road, we're doing the same thing in this open line in here. Crews are still in there. They're still trying to go direct, and they're... Uh, completing those missions as we speak in these areas here. As we get down here into Division Union Romeo area on the Rubicon drainage, we have this area in here that is uh, very steep, very difficult terrain that we're uh, not able to put firefighters in to complete a line all the way down to the river drainage. However, as I've mentioned before, we do have contingency lines out here in multiple areas and a very significant ground force is still on the fire and our air assets to assist if the fire were to move and we're not anticipating the fire to gain a lot of energy to come out of there and cause us any problems at all. So moving on to our suppression repair operations, well, they're going on in several areas of the fire. Down here, primarily in Division Yankee and Union along up around Volcanoville and along the Wetworth Road. We've got several dozer lines that they're still repairing, uh, improving the roads, taking down the dozer berms, that sort of thing. Uh, and that continues on the west here up along Foothill Road in Division Charlie along the road where we have dozer lines that they're securing out in that area as well. Up here in Division Hotel, we have a, a couple operations going on. We have a large island, about 300 acres, that's well interior, however, it is putting up uh, some smoke that you may see, and we wanna secure that island, uh, which is basically a pocket of unburned fuel that uh, is left where the fire, the original fire didn't, didn't burn that out, and we're taking care of that. We're cutting that island out with hotshot crews, securing that, so that's not a problem later. We're continuing with the suppression repair up around into Division Juliet uh, area, up here around the, the Deadwood Road, cleaning that up, as well as in this area of the fire off of Foothill Road, we're doing the hazard tree mitigation uh, in that area. We've also started the hazard tree mitigation off of Foothill and the Mosquito Ridge Road, uh, getting ready to start that. That's gonna be a very lengthy process, uh, several weeks, to, to uh, secure that. And it's an important point to remind, we're not doing a logging operation. What we're doing is we're going through and we're thinning out all hazard trees, either by bug kill or uh, trees that were damaged in the fire to get those off so they're safe for the public and for uh, uh, firefighters that may have to come back here on a fire in the future and as people uh, use the recreation facilities out there. Um, so we're, we're, we are cutting some timber and, and stacking it in a, in a safe place that's out of the way uh, for the forest to deal with later, but it's not going to the mill, it's not a logging operation. And then the last operation we have going on uh, is down in this area here, Division Romeo off of 11 Pine Roads around what we would call Drop Point 336 is we have some uh, uh, lines that were put on in originally that they're out and we've got some big uh, stuff, uh, uh, timber and stuff that, that's out there that they're, they're cleaning that up to get that uh, unburned fuel out of there as well. 
Then throughout the whole fire, we're trying to get uh, all of the uh, unused material that was originally put in, hose and pumps, uh, portable tanks, and those types of things. Uh, we're trying to get that stuff off the fire because we're no longer in need of that and get that back ready to go to another fire if needed. Uh, that is the update. Thank you.